I get a question a lot from my B&B &B guests about how do you make almond milk? So I wanted to show you how to make almond milk. I start out with a jar, just a glass jar, and I put filtered water in it. I use filtered water because our water ha is too high in minerals and a lot of places are going to have fluoride and chlorine in their water, which isn't helpful for health. So I take one cup of almonds and I put that in the water and this I soak overnight 12 to 24 hours. I rinse the almonds once or twice. I have the soaked almonds here. You can see that the water is kind of murky so I'm going to rinse them again one last time. Here we have three and a quarter cups of water in the blender and we have some salt which I'm going to put two shakes of salt into the water and our one cup of soaked almonds and then I blend that in the Splintec blender on smoothie twice. I buy my almonds from a local farmer because I know that way they won't be irradiated like many of the almonds in the supermarket are. Next I have a seed milk bag. This is a seed milk bag which I've got off Etsy. I put that into a plastic um, juice pouring container and pour the almond milk mixture into that. The next step is to squeeze the mixture so that you take out the liquid and have the solids left inside. And the, for this I keep it inside of the container. It's important to have clean hands when doing this. We'll start squeezing it and twisting it. The almond milk keeps for about three to five days depending on if you put salt in it or not. Now we have the squeezed pulp and we have the pitcher with the almond milk in it. And I like to put one teaspoon of vanilla into the almond milk. This is organic vanilla extract. Now I pour the almond milk into a glass container. And I put it in the refrigerator. And we're done. That's how to make almond milk. Thank you for watching.